how to remove rivets with the ProSpot PR5 riveting system. You will need the PRR10 and PRR11 removal dies and the 25mm extender. The dies and extender can be installed on either the arm side or the gun side based on clearance requirements on the vehicle. Using the wrench and screwdriver, make sure that the dies are secured tightly to prevent any damage. In this video, we will show you how to remove two types of self-piercing rivets, one with a backside dimple and the other with a flat backside. To begin removal, center the male die in the middle of the dimple, making sure that nothing obstructs any part of the gun or arm from pushing the rivets straight out of the panel. If there is no dimple for the die to engage, you risk being off-center and damaging the die. In order to prevent damage, create a dimple with a center punch. Creating a dimple helps alignment between the two axes. Then you are ready to remove the rivet. A tech tip to help check your alignment is to push the head of the rivet to just start protruding out of the front side of the panel. Stop the forward movement and manually release. Verify that the protruding rivet is lining up to engage the female die. If it is off-center, damage can occur. Finish the process and remove the rivet. As soon as the rivet is free from the panel, it is best to release the trigger to stop forward movement of the gun. Make sure that the rivet drops out of the female die after each extraction to prevent any jamming. To help with this, when you put on the female die, make sure the large slot is facing down so that the material can eject properly. Thank you for watching. For more questions on ProSpot, visit ProSpot.com.